What's up, YouTube? I'm trying something new here. I got you on a selfie stick. Uh, because I'm going to do a review of a belt. Um, this is a belt I purchased, if you can see this, three years ago from SOE Tactical, 7-6-2015. Uh, it is their EDC low-profile belt, uh, black on black, 30 inches, because I'm a skinny skinny dude. <laughs> it cost $45. Uh, there was $8 to ship it and it was a $53 total. I remember ordering it and I think it only took like a week and a half because they, they built they build them to order. Uh, at any rate, that was three, three years and roughly two months ago. Uh, and I have worn this belt every day. I, there may have been a day or two that I didn't wear this belt for whatever reason. Maybe... I can't think of why, but it would have been like I had to dress up and or something. I, I never dress up. Anyways, I've worn this belt literally every day. Uh, if I don't wear it at work, I get home and I change and I put it on. Uh, because it's my gun belt and I carry a gun every day. And I've never missed a day of carrying a gun. Anyways, uh, gonna have to show you my stomach a bit because that's around where the belt is, so get over it. Um, there she is. That's the buckle. There's the Velcro section. Goes all the way around the back because that's how a belt works. There's my shield, which I've got on right now. Uh, yeah. So, I was gonna try and do a thing where I take it off and just kind of show you the gist of getting it on and off, I guess. Because it's a belt review. Oh, you're, you're crooked. Oh. Bear with me, technical difficulties. Can you see the belt? Okay, yeah, you can see the belt. All right, so, gun off. All I do is undo the little Velcro section a bit so you can loosen it. Unclasp the little clasp. Belt off. That's, it's fairly, fairly bendy, but it is very, very sturdy. And I guess I'll try and do a a close-up. I mean, it it is not a single stitch undone anywhere. I mean, I could get a calculator out and try and give you the the hours I've worn it. Oh, this is the important part, the Velcro section, because that's like a wear item. So you can see some of the Velcro is looking a little dirty, but I don't. I've never really cleaned it. I've never washed it. I've never stuck this in the uh, in the washer. Never had to. Doesn't stink. <laughs> uh, let me unfold this for the <clears throat> so you can see that this is metal. Uh, they did make me take it off in the airport. Went off, or it goes off in the metal detector. It's the inside. I know this might seem boring, but I want to literally show you every inch of this SOE Tactical EDC low profile belt, so as not to not thoroughly review it. Like I said, th over three years. Three years and two months of wear. Some days I might have only worn it half the day. Other days I wore it, like today, I've worn it the entire day, although I'm off today and I haven't done anything really. Uh, this is like the part where it folds over. You know, they, they have to clip it. Mine is 30 inches. They fold it over and, and tie it. This would be the part that would definitely come undone if it was going to come undone. Not a stitch undone. I haven't done anything to it good belt. Uh, like I said, 30 inches. I'm a skinny dude. My pants are always kind of saggy. Um, <clears throat> truthfully, I probably have a 28 inch waist, but I hate buying 28 inch uh, pants and then having to, uh, having, having them feel super fucking tight. I'd rather have loose pants than wear a belt. So yeah, to get it back on, you thread it through all the loops. You, I, I, don't put this the the two parts in the middle. I know a lot of people put it in the middle and do that like the standard belt. I like mine kind of off to the side. So I do that. You put this. Oh, you got to put that through the loop. You can pick any number. There's four of these loops. One, two, three, four. Kind of depends on personal fitment, how long your waist is. I use the very tightest option because I'm skinny. And it's a 30 inch belt on around a 28 inch waist which is fine. You can go all the way up to 34 inches. 
it's very it's it's a variable belt and then you can move it all around and orient it however you want I put the buckle right, like I said off to the side I don't like mine in the middle so the velcro is here the buckle is here and there's nothing in the middle it's very flat you could carry appendix if you wanted to and then holsters up super easy click ready to go <coughs> For all intents and purposes, I think it looks like a standard belt, but I'm used to it after three years. Um, for $45, super happy, super happy. Uh, in fact, after this video, I'll probably order another one so I have a backup, even though I expect this to last another three years and more. Well, there's virtually nowhere. Granted, I'm not... I don't roll, roll around in the mud and do like tactical operator stuff. You're not looking at my face anymore, but <laughs> there I am. Uh, so yeah, SOE tactical, at least this model, super recommended. Uh, I'm gonna try out some more of their stuff. But yeah, the EDC low profile belt is great.